Hey, Libra, what is good? Libra, what is good? This is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. This is your mid-month June tarot card reading, also known as your Deep Thoughts for the next two weeks of June. Right on. This is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Libra. If you have Libra anywhere in your chart, this reading very well may resonate with you. If you don't have Libra in your chart, this reading still may resonate with you because messages are messages are messages regardless of your zodiac sign. When I do a personal reading, I could give two shits about your zodiac sign. Really, it's kind of nice to know if you manifest in your reading, but other than that, you know what? It really doesn't mean anything. It really doesn't. So, general reading for the sign of Libra. Y'all have to promise, promise, promise me that you will not make life-altering decisions based on a general tarot card reading. This is the overall thread that's going through the signs of Libra based on the planetary positions in the sky that have all kinds of things to do with all kinds of things that I don't know anything about. But I do know that if you have Libra anywhere in your chart, this reading may resonate with you. And even if you don't, this reading may resonate with you. So if you're tuning in and you have nothing to do with with Libra in any way whatsoever, then this is your reading because you were brought here for a reason. All righty. So a personal reading is worth its weight in gold. So if you see anything in this reading that you need clarification, confirmation, or understanding about, reach out to your favorite tarot card reader. Hopefully that's me. But if not, it doesn't matter because I want you to have your own personal tarot card reading and to, 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 to make decisions in your life, right? So as much as I would love to have you as a client, I don't give, I don't care. I don't care. Just go to somebody if you really need some, some understanding about things that are happening here. Okay. All right. So, oh yeah, well, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com if you want a personal reading. If you are a subscriber to this channel, you can click on the link in the box below and get a half price reading. Um, for my YouTube channel. I do that for my YouTube subscribers. Uh, 50 bucks, I'll hook it up just like this, just for you, just for your situation. All right, Libra, let's do this. You open this reading. Oh, and I just want to let you know I'm starting up here and I'm going across every row. So if I don't point, you can follow along, okay? So you start this reading with the Three of Swords, right? To the death card, to the five of pentacles, clarified by the ten of swords. So what these cards are saying is that there is going to be some heartbreak, an ending, leaving somebody out in the cold, putting an ending to something. The moon card tells me that you have, um, that you're beginning to see things clearly, right? You're, you're, you're seeing through the shadows of something. The Eight of Wands right there it tells me that you are going to take action towards the Six of Pentacles, who it is that you want to give and receive with. So just to reiterate, Libra, you are putting an end to something in order to move towards something else. You, this Prince of Cups right here, and yes, I know it's not an air sign, but nevertheless, this is you in this reading. You are the Prince of Cups, and you are going to you are going to end whatever this is over here. You're going to end it in order to be able to move forward and take action with who it is that you want to give and receive with. You are you have options with the Seven of Cups, Libra. This Prince of Cups has options with the Seven of Cups. And down here, this Empress is looking pretty damn good. This Empress is looking pretty damn good. And I do believe that this is the focal point of your attention at the moment. You see this Empress as the Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled. You see her as wishes fulfilled. You see her as stability. And you would like to transition into something. You would like to give your cup of love to this Empress. Queen of Wands is in the middle of the deck right here, right? Now, this is interesting to me, and I am going to pull one more clarifying card on this Queen of Wands before I speak to it, okay? Spirit, can you please tell, whoa, settle down, Spirit. Spirit, can you please tell me about this Queen of Wands? Are we talking about the Empress right here? Is this Queen of Wands also the Empress, or is this Queen of Wands somebody or something else? 
Page of Cups to the Hermit to the Knight of Swords. Okay, yes. So this Queen of Wands right here um, is definitely this Empress, okay? So you see this person as the Empress, right? She is the culmination of all of the Queens in the deck. You see her as the Empress as wishes fulfilled. You want to transition into something stable with her. You also see her as the Queen of Wands, probably pretty sexy, probably pretty passionate. This is right smack dead in the center of your reading, which means this whole reading is about this Queen of Wands, this Empress, right? So I'm going to put these back in the deck, but I just want to clarify that this Queen of Wands is who you want to give your cup of love to. The Hermit, you're doing some soul searching about how it is exactly you're going to come towards her, okay? All right. This Queen of Wands was officially clarified by the Two of Swords. You have some indecision. Again, right back to that, to that, to that, the Knight of Swords and the Hermit and the Page of Cups, right? You have some indecision about how you're going to approach this Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands being clarified by the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress, it's all the same person, okay? It's all the same person. And I do believe, Libra, this Queen of Pentacles has been in your reading forever, forever, forever. I want to read this Queen of Pentacles card. Send her to me. I want to read her cards because I want to know what the hell is going on here. Okay, so this Queen of Pentacles. There's some indecision about the Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. Now, this is you showing up as the King of Pentacles, right? The, you have control. You have power. You have discipline. You have abundance. Um so you want, and this is the power couple, right? The queen of pentacles to the king of pentacles. So there's some indecision about coming into union as the power couple with this queen of pentacles, empress, queen of wands person. Teamwork and collaboration is what you're after, right? Teamwork and collaboration. However, I seem to sense a third energy with the three of pentacles, right? And that could be what you're putting to an end right here is a third energy. Because this empress right here, she's not going to tolerate a third energy. Not at all. And I think you know that, Libra. And because this queen of pentacles, empress, this whole energy has been in your reading for so long, maybe it's just now and right now that you're coming to terms with the fact that this empress is not going to tolerate another energy in the situation. She's just not. The empress will not stand for it. She just won't. So, Got the Queen of Pentacles right here. I'm sorry, the Queen of Swords, right? This is you making a decision as to how exactly you are going to move forward in this situation. You being the King of Pentacles, right? King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. So this is you making a decision. Ace of Pentacles says that you want to manifest a brand new beginning with this Empress, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands person. And the sun card says that you see things clearly now and that, that this brings you a lot of joy, right? It, it, it joy. Two of Pentacles says that you want to prioritize this situation. You want to prioritize your action towards the empress. Judgment comes in and says you're making a very, very stiff decision as to how you are going to do this. Eight of Wands says that there is going to be, your decision here is to energetically move this relationship forward. Eight of Wands, it could be communication. It could be just an energetic shift, right? Eight of Swords tells me that you are breaking free of the mental restrictions that have kept you from doing this before because you see this Empress, Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles woman, person, okay, and I'm just saying woman because it's queens, right? But person as the Ten of Cups, right? The ultimate fulfillment in a relationship. Happiness, harmony, values alignment, the whole kit and caboodle. Ten is the number of completion, right? You see this as the complete package. Seven of Wands comes in and says that, um, that you're challenged, right? You're, you're challenged when it comes to doing this for whatever reason is not disclosed, but you're challenged. But nevertheless, the alchemist says you are absolutely going to manifest. What are you going to manifest? You're going to, a mani you're going to manifest engaging with this Empress, Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles 
person, okay? You're going to engage. You're going to manifest the strength, the ability, the whatever you need to manifest in order to engage with this empress. Is there anything else you want to say here, spirit? Anything else you want to say for Libra? Now is your chance. Anything else that you want to say for Libra? Anything else you want to say for Libra? Anything else you want to say for Libra? Is that it? Is that where we leave it? Oh, there's a chunk of them. Let's see if these make any sense. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Breaking free of mental imprisonment, decisions, discovery, planning, breaking free of mental restrictions, and moving into transitioning into stability. Wow, there you go, Libra. Holy cow, this has taken a long time for this to happen. A long time for this to happen. And I hope this all works out for you. I hope this Empress, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands character is, um, she reciprocates. And I hope it all turns into a beautiful union because it's been a long time coming. It has been a long time coming. So there you go, Libra. That is your reading. If you'd like a personal reading with me, like I said, deepthoughtswithdana.com. Or if you're a subscriber, click the link in the box below. If you liked this reading, please like it. If you think it will help somebody, please share it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you'd like to, please subscribe. There you go. Namaste.